Oh, my camera. Oh. Butter people. Oh, my camera. <laughs> <laughs> my camera. Butter, butter. It's just, there's nothing there. He's gone. Oh, <laughs> the screen. The you know what? Gone. You know what? It was his time. <laughs> <laughs> Now he knows how oh, he feels. Oh, now OBS oh. is oh. there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And you're, you're making it actively worse. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know oh. what? Leave it in. Leave it in. I've been making the joke that we're a dog and pony show. No, well, guess what? The dog died. Now it's just a sickly pony. I got it. Hold up. I got it working. Uh, 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 okay, there it is. Now I'm nope. catching up. Okay, there we go. All righty, we got that. Uh, it's off center. Let's yeah, no, no, it's back to being terrible again. Now it's oh. good again. Okay. See, see, I, I'm behind. So oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm. There we go. Okay. See, I'm watching the stream. We're not in the room. See, the, here's the here's the thing about uh, the internet. You can talk to people without being in the room with them, and we are not in the room with Edgar currently. Yeah. Um, I don't know if y'all knew that, internet viewers, but uh, hi. Okay, um, I, we're the I, we're. Uh, hi. <laughs> Let's have a fireside chat. <laughs> I'm President uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, <laughs> and uh, I know things. I know things have gotten bad, but we are going to make this world a new one, a better one. I'm going to make what's called a new deal. We're gonna shuffle up the cards and we're gonna redeal them out. And pardon. <laughs> That bad? Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, I promise you, if you elect me, I will do this new deal as well. I will defeat the dragon like I like I will defeat it like my predecessors before me. Fear not. I know. We know now. <laughs> that I, D. Roosevelt, will defeat this dragon. With my bare hands, okay. but I will need help from you, the American people. That's how he got the got in the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't see the dragon anymore, do you? Well, I, I mean... might be in a chair, but that fire-breathing lizard. Is dead. I thought he was going to say that fire-breathing bastard is dead. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, he did have to defeat it three more times after that. Different dragon! <laughs> <laughs> I, Franklin D. Roosevelt, will commence what is stated as a pro-gamer move. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh my god. Good god. <laughs> Anyways, um hey everybody. Hello. Uh it's me, Edgar, your host, and I'm here um and welcome back to another episode of the Grand Slam. I'm here with my two lovely co-hosts, Robin Machuka and Will from South Texas. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> For the rest of the show, I will be Franklin D. Roosevelt! Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you very much! Oh my god. <laughs> Where did we get this applause from? I need to make sure to turn that I back. always travel with my entourage! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Alistair from the. Has been hotel. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. oh, hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> uh, so it's old. crazy. Franklin D. Roosevelt's here. Yeah, he was uh, he here. Just, yeah, he, he was here. Now he's rolling on back to the White House. <laughs> he's going he's a busy man. He's a busy man. He's got a lot of things to do, you know. He, he's like uh, another big voice that we have here that just comes to the show. Without like any, you know, 
Remember that time when Bob Dylan was here? <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh God! <laughs> Please don't don't bring him up. If there's one thing I know about Bob Dylan, he will show up. You know who uh, I haven't seen in a while though? Uh, the Xenomorph. The Xenomorph. Oh yeah, we haven't yeah. seen. Yeah, you seen know him. what? I heard that the Xenomorph retired. Um. What about those he dogs re- that just randomly showed up? You know, I the yeah. dogs. I think I think they uh, they moved to a farm upstate, and I am not. And I, it's not a euphemism. I, okay, they actually to moved to a farm. Okay, uh, they they actually. I, I think been... they. I think they. I think they bought the farm again. Not a euphemism. <laughs> uh, uh, not a phrase. They they had a lot of money. They were very wealthy canines, and they said, "You know what? I want to buy." One dog said to the other, you know what? I want to buy a farm. And the other one said, I'll invest with you. And they own an apple orchard. And I think they're oh. taking care of bees third, now. The third dog said, yeah, fuck this show. Let's let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go, go work on a farm. farm. We're this, <laughs> we're, we're, and the fourth <laughs> dog just licked his balls. He was uh, a special one. Were, they this, uh, were, <laughs> were, were, the, were, the, were the were the dogs the same uh, same farmers that moved that boulder? No. Oh, my God. Maybe. I don't know. Right. Let let me let me look into it. Maybe they're three dogs in a trench coat. Unless um, they went up to Maine to do their farming. Oh, we got up to Maine now there. <laughs> I wouldn't go up to Maine there. A lot of people go down that road. Not a lot of people come back from that road. A lot of strange oh. things happen down that road. Hi, I'm Stephen <laughs> King. I basically <laughs> write only books about how terrifying Maine is. Won't you come along with me? This one's called Murder, Murder, Stab, Stab, and it is about a librarian who is a ghost detective. Um, Mr. <laughs> King, I have my hand raised. Uh, yes. Uh, would we be getting some lobster after? Oh, um, no, because in my universe, uh, nothing good is in Maine. Damn Absolutely it. Absolutely nothing. God so all of it. the lobster that exists in our universe, it's actually uh <laughs> it's actually uh uh it's it's just tofu. Oh Ooh. that's disappointing. All right, Peter. Anyway. Well <laughs> Who no. this man God damn it. <laughs> but but yes, as uh, ladies and gentlemen, as We've said on, you know, on social media that I posted there, this is going to be our last live uh, show for the season that this is not like the last of it. It's just this is not not over. If we have to do it, you have to watch. It's how this works. It's not it's not the last episode of the season yet. No. So so how uh, I'll just put it out here in the beginning. So as it is. So this is our last uh, live episode of the season. So. Um, so we want to just, you know, give it off and have a good time here. Uh, who knows? Maybe I might stream later today for gaming. Uh, it, it all happens. But today we're going to have a good time today, guys. You know that? Whoa. Okay. Green Beret Wolf. Thank you again with the, with the hundred bits. Oh, damn. Uh, we we want to hear no one. <laughs> we're here for Maine, Maine's lobster, <laughs> not your lobster. Your lobster is insured by the federal Urban. You're not gonna lose a claw. Think of your families. Don't risk your life. <laughs> what is that? What is what is that from? Oh, I don't know. It sounds familiar though. Ooh. Oh. Do I need to read it as uh Heat? Oh, oh heat. heat. Yeah. Yeah, that's with uh oh with Sandra Bullock and uh Melissa McCarthy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good oh. one. Uh, yeah. uh, so, oh my god! Now I'm now I'm, oh, gonna I'm such up. a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> no, yeah, I was thinking. I was like, what the one are you talking about? I'm like, there's hey, two. I'm- there are two movies called Heat. Heat. I think the I think the one I was thinking what is called The Heat. Heat. And yeah. Heat is the one with De Niro and Al Pacino. Yeah, I was, I was. I was thinking at first. I'm like, wait, there's another one called Heat, and then you're yeah. just like, oh. <laughs> Lobster man's like I don't really trust this wolf guy. <laughs> uh, man. Uh, but so but, so but Edgar, what are we what are we talking about on the show today? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, 
so we're talking about lobsters in the wrong movie. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're we're only going to talk about lobsters and how good they taste if you like them. <laughs> do you like Thank lobsters? You. Comment down yeah, below. Do you like lobsters? Do you hey, lobsters? you two people watching this thing, if you like lobster, you got to comment. You got to comment that you like lobster or if you don't like lobster. And if you don't like lobster, well, that's fine because we all have our own individual tastes and it's okay. Also, give us a like on that video if it, when you're on the YouTubes, you know, just give us a, ni a nice like and a subscribe, you know. Yeah, like you got to like and subscribe and you got to smash that bell and you got to Robin, are we <laughs> running out of things to tell the YouTube people? Uh, you no. got to. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yay. Hey, what's what's your favorite uh sauce? Mine's um mine's a uh, Mornay. Mine's <laughs> Tell us what your favorite sauce is on the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> and if anybody puts ketchup, I swear to Christ, it's not a sauce, it's a condiment, and they're not the same thing. I'll die on this hill. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not legally obliged to share whether I have hands or claws. You are not, and that would be a personal medical condition. Sorry, I dipped halfway through last episode. Caught the rest on YouTube. Yeah, Robin, the father is the fucking father great. Is exactly. Fucking great. It okay. is fucking good. <laughs> like, I like I, I told Edgar when I was watching. I was watching. I was watching. Great. The, the oh, color God, God. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry. I, like, like I told Edgar. I was tw I was like twenty minutes into the movie, and I are I message him like Edgar, you need to watch this fucking movie. <laughs> like, it's really good. And like, where could you? W I had to rent it for twenty bucks on Prime, um, yeah. which is I, not fun, but yeah. Maybe, it was I know, worth the twenty bucks. Yeah, I know some movie theaters were playing the film. Let's see if they still are, unless it was like a limited thing. The failure. Uh, <laughs> The Feather? Is that how you pronounced it? Uh, uh, the Feather. It's, uh, it's this person. We are going to watch the Feather. The Feather. <laughs> oh, no, it's not, on, uh, it's just not anywhere anymore. You could only rent it on the. Oh, and everything yeah. else. Damn. I remember this fun time where we were going to watch the further, but it was $20, and I was like, dear Oh, what the heck? Uh, oh, oh, my Grey Wolf. Goodness. God. <laughs> Again with the 100 bits. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. What happened to your lobster was business. I have much respect for your lobster, but your lobster, his thinking is old-fashioned. You must understand why I had to do that. Now let's work through where we go from here. <laughs> now, and then Dylan said, watch it, watch it, watch it in theaters alone and from the start, damn. And if this were a year ago, I would have said, uh, no, not in the theaters uh, because COVID. And it's still pretty, it's not still not safe, but um, everyone in this group chat is vaccinated so now Damn. i can say i'm i am getting back to being a bit more comfortable with going probably going to the movie theaters um i haven't oh, been I to, the to the movie Whoa, theater what the heck sir carl darmark pee 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 <laughs> that's a what? quote what? uh god damn it don't you uh, i'm gonna allow it god damn it don't you outdo me you danish coward which by the way uh all of us know each other so fight me bro <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Can we just see Poo Poo is in the lead? Pee Poo Poo. Can we have peace? Oh my oh God, Poo Poo! I only got six hundred over here. <laughs> okay, Carol. Everyone, come on! What the fuck is going on here today? 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> we, first we're talking about lobsters, then there was hate for lobsters, then there was an apology for lobster, and then there was pee pee poo poo. We got to fight with the good old fashioned bitten wall. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, but thank you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, I, I'm going to need you to do a thing for me. Uh, yes. This is uh, for the host of the podcast. I'm going to need you to lean over. Yeah. I need you to I'm going to need you to drum on your bellies. Oh yeah. <laughs> Again? Nice. 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 And I'm a lot of lobster. (laughs) I'm here to advertise lobster and donate bits, and I'm all out of lobster. Don't (laughs) trust Green Beret Wolf. Lobsters. Lobsters. What the hell? (laughs) Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna at people real quick. Uh, we got us an old fashioned bit war <laughs> at everyone. We got us an old fashioned bidding war. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for the bits. Um, <laughs> just as a, as a quick reminder, I know Nightball will probably remind you, re- put it like as a reminder. If you have Amazon Prime, you could sub to us for free. Just absolutely free with your Amazon Prime, and you can use Twitch Prime and use it for us, a uh, free. Uh, it's a bit of a sponsor, I guess. That's our thing, you know? But, <laughs> give us, now Now that we're being showered with money, give us more <laughs> money! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. Selfless plug, hey, money! Oh my oh god, my Green god. Gray Wolf, what the fuck? <laughs> I will win. God damn it. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, let, let's let's maybe calm this down. It's getting dangerous. The the amount of money being thrown around here is. Uh, well, you will win. You. Uh, it looks like you're winning, but but. You know, Green Beret Wolf, you, you can you can slow down. I know I know we don't all have all the money in the world. This is getting dangerous. You never And Carl just comes in with a one bit go fuck yourself. So oh I just got another bit. We were on. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. I will win Will. Whoa, you're bidding on me? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. So much popcorn. Oh my god. <laughs> Infinite popcorn. popcorn. Oh my god. Infinite popcorn. Oh my I, god. I am a, I am a man Carl who likes just, his popcorn. Carl is just spamming with one bit. Like and yet oh he's god. getting all of the popcorn. Don't trust the wolf you're being <laughs> bought out. We have to focus on the lobster slaughter. <laughs> I will say uh, <laughs> 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 Oh my god. We need to start the show. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It's this the is weird. I hear Robin in real life that on my phone with an eight second tape delay. <laughs> <laughs> if it works for Americans economically buying out Hawaii, it will work here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And we just came here to chat and talk about Lord of the Rings, and then now we have a bidding war going on. We, we got us an old fashioned bidding war, fellas. It, there's just nothing we can do. <laughs> there's just nothing we can do to stop this. Um, the only thing we can do is get more people involved in the bidding war. So get more if you'll viewers. excuse me. Everyone who's, well, everyone who's on the stream, share the stream and tell people to join the stream. We got a bidding war going on and I don't know what's, I don't know what's going to happen. Ah. We're going up by like one cent. Right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> yeah. I think. And, and, and because, you know, Green Beret Wolf, you can stop. It's okay. 
Have patience. <laughs> have patience. <laughs> he's like he's like an old age pensioner paying for oh groceries. He's pulling out one penny at a time, but he's got a he's got a purse filled with pennies. So he's just like, oh, I can be here all week. You oh know. my god! Come at me, Danish man with government, government money. money. Oh my god! What? What is going on? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? We're, we're, we're focused. While this is going on, and we will probably refer back to it, we are going to talk about the movie. Yeah. The movie that we're talking about this week is uh, is Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers, and it's the second one in the uh, in the trilogy. Uh, trilogy. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, if y'all have the uh, if y'all have the uh, uh, the emote in chat, just just spam Robin T posing. It's that kind of a, an event. <laughs> Give um, us some T posing, Robin guys. Oh. But uh, this <laughs> yes. this is this is probably my favorite uh, in the trilogy. This is my favorite movie in the trilogy mm. because, and I'm gonna just be honest, ents. Uh, just walking tree people. I love it. Uh, yeah. and did we ever, did Still we ever do a full part. intro to the show? Because like, like, I don't I remember mean, a lot of I things mean, have happened. We had a bidding war. I no, think we did. If, yeah, if we did I, did, I, did, I, did, I did the intro. I do. I did remember making the intro saying, Hey, guys, no, no, no. I know we did the intro, but I don't remember if we said hi, uh, because oh. a lot of things happened anyway. Hi, everyone. I mean, things are um, still going on right now. But, yeah. No. Things are going on. We're, we're, we're doing this. We're, we're going on with the show. So, so, uh, Robin, what, uh, because again, I guess we ought to do it like we did last week. Uh, you know, there's just a lot yeah, going it's on. So, especially if we watch the extended cut. Like, oh yeah, the extended cut's gonna have a lot more. But um, so much. Yeah, <laughs> this is your uh, tax dollars. You're wasting wasting invest in Doge coin. All right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that's what we should do is we talk about our favorite scenes in this movie, uh, starting yeah. from beginning to end kind of thing. Like if and we're going to go, if we're going to talk about what our favorite scenes is, we got to do it. Yeah. Let's try to do it chronologically. Also, also just for the, for the audience, we did see the extended version of Lord of the Rings, which is basically almost four hours long. <laughs> Which but it, I will say, it did not feel like four hours for me. Personally. It didn't feel like four hours, but it was like I will. I will say there was a couple points where we were kind of on our phones because we were checking stuff. Yeah. Um. So we, we we didn't, and we wanted to treat it as if we were watching a movie because of just how long it was. So, um. But besides yeah. all of those, what happened of those, I really enjoyed this. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. This um. Is- it was it was it was like a especially like even towards the end as it builds up it was just wow but um i guess we'll start with um mr uh, uh, uh mr will what were your favorite parts of this movie like what what are okay. your highlights so i feel like the the it it's 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 small things too so in the beginning you know they're you you've got the chase to save the hobbits right mary and pippin they're running you know they got captured by the urukai and they're running to uh isengard they're taking the hobbits to isengard god 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 God. robin showed me that Um, when we saw it i was like what is this and i'm like oh my god this is great we also found a video of uh they they were on Orlando Bloom was on the set for the Hobbit and they were recording a video of that song. And then they would just occasionally sometimes put the phone down to show Orlando Bloom's vo- face and he'll say it. And I was like, Oh, that's, fu- that's funny. <laughs> that's cool. Send me that link. to that I, will thing. I, I, w- I wish to see that, but um, yeah, like that, like, so meme aside and it's a great meme. Um, like the 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 trio, Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn, like running after the after the Urukai. Um, it's really great because they all have their strengths and weaknesses, and Gimli has the line, uh, "We dwarves are natural sprinters." <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm very, I'm way, I'm, we're very dangerous at short distances. I'm, I, I'm wasted on cross country. And I just love that. It's so funny because they are very dangerous at short distances, but the, you know, they, they're, they're, but they're having to run, you know, like I a long ways. Loved Gimli in this. He yeah. Was, he's great. <laughs> oh, great. he was, he was amazing. In this. Yeah. Uh, and and you know and in the extended version we get even more of how you know great w- my favorite lines part, my favorite part was was I, I know I'm jumping ahead here like my favorite part with Gimli is when it's sh- they're about to get attacked by the orcs they're in uh, uh Ro- Rowan that the castle where they were def- they're putting up the defense uh, oh uh, Helm's Deep. Helm's Deep. So they have all of the elves line by line. Then you see Gimli. You just see the top of his head. <laughs> and it's it's um, uh, Legolas. And he's saying, like, could I, could I please be somewhere where I could see or something like, like that? <laughs> oh, no. He, the line, he, at one point he goes, you could have chosen a better spot. Like, yeah. That's like where, where, where the crenulation has an arrow slit so he can go out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, then, was- and then there's the, the, the a, a quick follow-up is like uh would you like you know what's going on and he, and he like Ella says would you like me to describe it to you or get you a box <laughs> and, and he just like shoots him a death stare and then goes because <laughs> it's funny yeah. <laughs> oh, another one a uh, last Gimli thing is when him and uh Stri- Strider, Aragorn. We Aragorn. yeah, we know we learn his name. It's Aragorn. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's I'm tr- uh, it's coming back to me. So I'm trying to um, but like when uh, Aragorn Aragorn wants to throw Gimli like across the crevasse to attack the orcs that are about that are getting into the door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just like don't tell the elf. And then <laughs> Aragon's like, not a word. <laughs> throws him across. <laughs> toss me. What? I cannot jump the distance. You will have to toss me. <laughs> uh, Don't he, tell he, the elf. Not a word. He was, so <laughs> he was such like, he was one of the best parts in that movie. Like whenever they would just, uh, when they were focused on those scenes. I like how he's just out of breath when they're trying to run to to uh, Rowan. <laughs> breathe. <laughs> oh god. Um. Okay. Well, but the uh, the running the running scene right when they're all running. Yeah. Um. And also because it okay. So a lot of my favorite scenes are really good scenes, but they've also become memes that they're not my favorite scenes because they're memes, but just when the two, uh, when the uruk and the orcs, they, they, they're running and they go, you know, we ain't, we ain't had nothing to eat but maggoty bread for three stinking days. Yeah. Why can't we have some meats? And like that whole scene as it plays out with <laughs> one of the orcs says, well, let's just eat the hobbits and the Urukai because they are Urukai and there's, you know, differences in the loyalty and order and all that. Anyway, and they go, they're not for eating. <laughs> and then they, they kill one of the orcs and they go, meat's back on the menu, boys. And they start just ripping this orc apart and there's like viscera flying in the air. They're like, oh, you good just, meat. I saw, I randomly saw like a prop uh, large intestine just get thrown out. And I'm just yeah. like, yeah. Oh <laughs> they're, they're literally ripping him apart like and i was just like that's amazing it's just a good scene and and then of course they get away and yeah you know it's they get away and it's good and all that but like j- meets back on the menu boy what about the legs they don't need those <laughs> <laughs> I'll just carve up a little piece, just a mouthful, and then cuts his head off. It's just hilarious. Oh, oh that, that's a good scene. And then uh, when the and, and then the, my next favorite scene is actually uh, quite a bit later, but um, it's at Helm's Deep. So, does anybody have anything before we get to Helm's Deep? 
Um, uh, I think my one of my favorite scene. Um, it's it's when we meet the uh, the Ents, the Ent mood. At least the at least a uh, uh, tree beard. The 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 first one we meet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, wait, he he had a really good design. Uh, yeah, his name was. Robin saw that large intestine flying over the water burger on 14. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's the bad one, right? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the one in town. I, I believe that. Uh, um, anyway, <laughs> shout out to my boy, Crazy Mike. Crazy Mike, we know you, baby. <laughs> um, my, so, like, when we, when we first meet him, because, like, there's a one part where it's after it's after the um, that we saw uh, that Gandalf is no longer Gandalf the Grey, but is now Gandalf White. Um, it, it's a bit, a little bit after that when they're on uh, the the two hobbits, uh, um, Pippin and his and the other guy <laughs> Mary, where they're on the um, they're on Greybeard. And you can tell that like everything around Greybeard's face is all it looks all and I I'm pretty sure it's all prosthetic like it's mm. all a prop but the yeah. face is green screen to move to talk it's a, it's a really good combination of CG and like just real like and again this movie came out in 2000 tree beard like yeah didn't I say tree beard you at one point said gray beard and I was oh. like <laughs> gray beard who oh. which one of the fucking ends is gray beard I, I, like, I think gray beard's from Skyrim I, I, <laughs> I remember um but no no I, I, I remember I had it correct I, I did say tree beard at one point initially yeah <laughs> but no you said Gandalf the gray and then switched to Gandalf the white and then you were like gray beard and I, anyway I was just like yeah. I was silently in my head going yeah. who the fuck is gray beard I and I was know. like, I was like, I don't, I don't know the lore. There's like tree beard. There's, there's, <laughs> there's the other ends. Let me think. And I'm like, oh, yeah. tree beard. He means tree beard. So we're just correcting. Oh my God. 45 burps. Jesus Christ. Edgar. Um, so <laughs> tree beard, like- <laughs> Robin, go on. Like, I, I, I just like that, um, that part where he's going on about one of his, one of his poems. And then it starts to talk to and the hobbits are like, oh yeah, that that was a good poem. Like they weren't listening at all. <laughs> they were just about to like crash. And then, you know, oh, let me tell you about this other one that I wrote. It's another custom, it's another uh another one of my own. And I'm sure you'll love it. <laughs> um, but there's that part, and then later on where it's actually when it gets close to the end of the movie is where I'll wait to talk about that. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of my favorite scenes had to do with the, with the ends and then the final battles that happen at the end. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, that for that uh, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Do you have any before uh, the battle? Yeah, one of my one of my favorite scenes, mostly that I like from the film, is you know the introduction of uh, Schmeagel, Gollum. Oh right, and yeah. how he uh, how he interacts with Frodo and and Sam, and Where- and and props to Andy Serkis for for having such a great performance as him, both in mocap and just in his performance himself. And compared to, um. And I'm talking performance wise in terms of like, I know that like it would have been better if we watched this first and then we saw the Hobbit, but because of certain things, we had to watch the Hobbit first and then, um, and then this, um, yeah. it really seemed that like you saw how dis how much of, even though he, yeah, I know he's a Hobbit, but I'm just going to make it say that, say it in this way to make it easier for myself. Mm-hmm. Um, the humanity that was taken from him because of that ring. Yeah. Um, and you and you see that more in this film than you do in the in the Hobbit itself. You, I, also, you see him getting slightly better until mm-hmm. he yeah. thinks that he's betrayed. Yeah. So and like, so for, well for me is so when when it comes to when with the Hobbit it wasn't it didn't really like explore with with Schmeagol or you know Gollum and because yeah. it was just for that scene it wasn't until when we saw Lord of um, the Two Towers. Is when they re- it's like yeah this is where they like really go into like deep 
with um with the character Gollum itself and I and those were the parts I really like especially how he would just talk to himself because yeah. of how much he's been so obsessed with the ring and and it made me really like Gollum so much especially since it felt like he was having a good friendship with Frodo and Sam and it wasn't until after uh later on the film when he's feeling like if he's getting betrayed and so he tries to find a you know find the plan to like get him out of the picture but during the whole the whole film whenever they would go to it it was really interesting especially since even for when when this film came out in two in what year hold up in 2002 uh, for a for a film in 2002 the special effects are still really great they still hold up that hold up very well some of them don't hold up as much but especially with um with Gollum, like a lot of it, like especially like in dark areas, it looks really good still. And especially how expressive his face is, especially for 2002. It was really impressive to see that. Mm. And I'm like, shit, like Andy Serkis should like, I feel like he should have gotten an award for that. He should like, I, I know we've, we've talked about this before. Cause like Andy Serkis in general, mm-hmm. I always feel is overdue for an Oscar. Oh, that's interesting. I, because I figured Robin would have said that uh, he was the only person in the movie who was CGI, and because of that, it was terrible. And they should have actually had a, they should have actually found an actor who looked like that. <laughs> it's not like, hang on, okay, like, uh-uh. <laughs> no, fuck you, Robin. That is your <laughs> argument for the other movie. That was, it wasn't just that because, like, if we're gonna get back into it, we'll get back into it. Well, <laughs> oh, I will drive down there. You think I won't? <laughs> because you see, in that other movie, in compared to this one, all the orcs were all real people. Whereas in the first one, there oh, yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. All the orcs were real people. They actually had them crawling on the ceiling like they did. Uh huh. Oh my God. gamer fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah all the orcs were real the balrog was real it was shot in detroit that's why all this shit's real <laughs> but no <laughs> gamer fight <laughs> um anyway but andy he did, he did like a oscar <laughs> he was, i honestly think that he he does he's long overdue for an oscar if anything like Sometime down the road, I feel he's going to because the Academy's not going to give him one, like nominate him for something unless he actually does something that isn't in mocap. Yeah, um, because knowing the Academy, they're gonna that's what the they're not they don't recognize mocap shin as a form of acting, which is fucking stupid. Um, but I do feel he will get an honorary Academy Award. Um, yeah. which that for sure he'll get he'll get one. If not, then it'll be really dumb that he doesn't get one. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> Detroit, <laughs> Detroit don't deserve that call out. <laughs> hey, you know what, uh, Lobster Man? What you have to what you have to understand is uh, that was a reference to a previous oh, episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, so check out our YouTube. Look at the what what movie was that, Robin? Evil, Evil Dead. Dead. Evil Dead 2. Yeah, that's right. Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Um, so that's a reference to Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Also, uh, because, Detroit, yeah. we love you. You're not Cleveland. Because All right. <laughs> we found out what was funny about uh, Evil Dead we don't 2. Have, we, don't, we don't have to explain it. We don't have to explain it. They can go back and watch. Yeah. That gives us an extra view for a YouTube video. Robin, why are you ruining this for us? God, you're hateful, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> it's this and the fact that you hate Billy Connolly that's going to ruin oh, this show. <laughs> um, but no, I agree, Andy. It's fucking good job, Gollum. <laughs> and, you know, all great. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, get your fish. Did you see fish? And I said, sweet. Um, I just came back. <laughs> oh, well, welcome to the uh, is gamer fight slang for bidding war. Oh, no, Robin and I hate each other, but it's fine. <laughs> um, so. So, yeah, Robin and I were yelling at each other 
Um, here's a quick recap. Fuck you, Robin. Fuck you, Will. Okay, cool. Um, that's pretty much what it was. Oh anyway, uh, yeah, I agree. Edgar, the, yes. the dynamic that Gollum slash Smeagol have, how yeah. they relate to uh, they, because Gollum and Smeagol are two people, mm-hmm. relate to uh, Frodo and how they relate to Sam or the fat stupid Hobbit. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll especially we'll especially learn a bit more about that mm-hmm. in the next movie. But yeah. and, uh, and I will and I and it, it it made me really really like like Gollum or, or slash Smeagol as as a character in this in this in this um in the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, oh, he's a really funny, he's a really cool guy. Hold up, up, uh. Okay, now you're just making the noise. You're not even actually burping. You're just making that noise now. I know, <laughs> I was get just a real trying, burp. I was trying to like move something. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh my god. The the thing that Stefan just sent us in the group that is amazing. Uh that's good. Thank you, Stefan. Um, but let's oh. see. Yeah, the. Any, uh, Edgar, any other any other scenes that you like? I mean, getting to know Gollum's kind of like a big mm-hmm. a big part of the movie. Yeah, um, I guess I kind of well, I kind of I knew the about Gandalf coming back as Gandalf the White, but I honestly thought he was going to come back till the third film. That's because the whole time when I was about to watch the fourth one, I'm like. I'm like, what are they going to do? I'm like, if Gandalf thought in this one and then he just shows up, I'm like, oh, wow. So I was kind of, I was actually kind of surprised when I saw Gandalf coming back in the second one. And he's more and it's he's. And oh, yeah. And the, the other scene that I like, I don't know if it's only in the extended version that they add like what he what happened to him. But I really like the scenes that they add of him, added him fighting the bull rock. Yeah. Like on top of the tower. And I'm like I that think- that. That I visually that looked was, really great. <laughs> I think that was in the theatrical version because I remember seeing that when I watched it the first time. Mm. Um, it's in it. I think. I think they. It's in the original, but I think they added uh, a little bit more in the extended version. Mm. Um, mm. Not. I don't think it's like a whole lot more. I think it's just a little bit more. Yeah. But. I can actually, I can actually check. Yeah. Uh, but like that whole scene was, I thought that was a really cool scene. It's just like you see Gandalf like battling the giant Balrog going out, then he like defeats it and it falls down. I'm like, visually, that looked really cool. And I was like, holy shit. I'm like, that's Gandalf's a badass. He's um, a cool wizard. I would, uh, so. <sighs> Shall we talk about the battle scene then, or battle scenes at the at the end? Before we before we get to that, one of my other favorite scenes. Um, okay. So, all right, Gan, you know Gandalf, uh, Legolas, Gimli, Aragorn, they all find each other. Uh, they reveal. Then they go to uh, they go to uh, Rohan. And uh, King Theoden is ensnared uh, by a you know a mental poison by uh, uh, Saruman, and they take all of their weapons. And uh, Gandalf's like, "You wouldn't take an old man's walking stick, would you?" And like fucking winks to uh, <laughs> I think Legolas it is, uh, or maybe it's Aragorn, it's one of the tall ones uh, and he like winks and then they get in and like the whole scene where Gandalf like, you know, fights Saruman through Theoden trying to free him, right, is like really amazing. Yeah. You have no power here Gandalf Stormcrow <laughs> Well said, my lord. <laughs> you did not kill me. You will not kill him. <laughs> and then just Christopher Lee, like this, you know, he he frees him, right? And like Christopher Lee's, as you know, Saruman just gets thrown the hell back in his tower is really amazing. 
Are to whales break an a- art- uh, no, whales are not a good snack only because whales are protected. Uh, so like, I don't think legally we can say whales are not, uh, I, like, you know, they're not a good snack, uh, save the whales. And, uh, <laughs> unless you're talking about, thing. unless you're talking about the, uh, the, 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 you know, the goldfish crackers, <laughs> they have well fish crackers. Oh, um, well, if it's legal to eat them, then fine. Yeah, sure. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Because I'm like, I there's the the there's those well crackers. It's kind of like the goldfish ones, but they're well shape, and uh, they sell them like at Walmart or Dollar General or Dollar Tree, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, they uh, and they're pretty good. I like those. Those are the ones I like. But if they're talking about like actual well, uh, yeah, USA, USA, U. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest. Like I'm more of a, I'm an adventurous eater. I'd be willing to try whale if that were if they weren't super, you know, going to like extinct. I know in, in Iceland, this isn't a whale, this isn't a whale thing, but they do have you know that um that penguin that has like the colorful beak that can fly? I forgot what it's called. Um a puffin. I hear I heard Stefan in the back. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Stefan. I heard that they that they actually make they serve puffin like in salads in uh, Iceland, and I want to try puffin. Oh, puffin. but don't they make that into a stew over there? They could. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of different. Uh, I don't know if like if there's other like stuff anyway that's getting off topic but um <laughs> the cat is the chicken of the rail yard <laughs> yeah bat it's just the chicken of the cave i thought, I thought the cat was the chicken do, of the do not eat bats okay uh does anyway that, does that, I, I thought, does that, I thought wait, the cat was the chicken of the uh of the of the underpass I thought that's what uh, <laughs> only in the underpass region of France, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna get us back on track here. Okay. I'm gonna get us back on track. So, blah 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 blah. The battles. Now, the battles are probably like you know when you're a 13 year old kid, you're watching this movie and you're just going, "Oh my god, these battles are so cool!" Right? And they are. <laughs> Because the elves show up, the elves show up in the last, like in the eleventh hour, and they show up at Helm's Deep, and they're just like an alliance once stood between elves and men. We here to honor that alliance, and you're just like, yeah, yeah. So, because they need it, um, and. Yeah, and they kill a lot of orcs, but also, also apparently Saruman has invented dynamite, and we just haven't dis- talked about that recently. I will say there was something kind of funny I tried to do, but I was too late. Um, when you saw the one orc coming down with the torch to uh, light the dynamite, <laughs> I started playing the uh, summoning of the heroes by John Williams from the Olympics. <laughs> it just got a laugh out of me and Edgar. <laughs> like, then we started doing like, like we're commentary commentating on, on uh, the Olympics are now being Olympics. held in middle earth. Welcome and, uh, to the 2020 Olympics held not in Japan anymore, but in middle earth. And we had it where it's like a, we do like there's the orcs, the hobbits, uh, the ents, uh, every everybody that we saw, and then the last people to come out, and there are the Greeks. Uh, the <laughs> Greeks are here. Normally, they're the first ones to come out, but they decided to do it, reverse it this year for some reason. Uh, <laughs> they are the only nation from the real world to, to be at this Olympics because it is the Olympics, and they are Greece. Yep. Uh, <laughs> See now, Robin. We have to talk about the meme. Okay, you know the song that I was playing. Yeah. Uh, yes. Bum bum. Yes. All right. That song. That yeah. I'm not gonna name it. But uh, when when it's the Urukai, it's that just starts playing, <laughs> <laughs> and one of them just goes. Erica. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. everyone, and everyone's just no. like, "What? No! Oh, stop it!" No. But you gotta admit, it's uh, pretty 
pretty it's trashy. A, it's a bit, no, it, 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 they're, they're Nazis or, or, or a guy. They're Nazis. Yeah. Uh, they're Middle Earth Nazis. <laughs> Again, I came back to Erica. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm sorry green beret wolf <laughs> um, so the battle one of my favorite the battle scenes, one of my favorite scenes in the battles is when the ents discovered what saruman was doing to uh the the forest that's close to mordor or to the to isengard, where, to isengard yeah mm-hmm. and he's like oh okay that in in the words of Hank Hill, that tears it. We're going down there and kicking their ass. Um, We're going down there and kicking their ass. And like the the fact that the Ents just mobilize and fucking attack Isengard, it was just so awesome. And they even just like go into the point of destroying uh, the dam that holds up the river. They drowned the the whole place. Used real water. And it looks like it was a combination of using models mm-hmm. as well as CGI. And the, you could tell which were real models and then which were not CGI, but like uh, green screened people in mm-hmm. like just walking or running, running from the water. Um, because you could tell that the people were, were green screened in and those were real people. But um, mm-hmm. that was but, a cool, oh, no, uh, they actually just flooded a very small village. It was oh very God. sad. <laughs> People died. Uh, uh, New Zealand was very angry at Peter Jackson for a bit there, uh, yeah. but um, but no, I th- that was like the I really just liked that part as well as like at close to the very end when uh, Pippin and uh, Mary are are just kind of standing there in in uh, chest high water for a Hobbit, and uh, there happened to be. <laughs> a uh, food storage and they basically found uh, weed. weed. And, uh, <laughs> it's not weed, it's tobacco. I knew it! I knew it, Edgar! I don't you know, because sh- they, they just kept calling it weed, so I was like, oh, they be smoking No, weed. I said it was some kind of, it's probably some kind of tobacco, and then they started giggling and then you were like, you, you No, because, so- yeah, because I'm like, oh, because, because look, here at Heroin, it's like, oh, they found this, and Robin's like, oh, it's tobacco. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, I'm like, maybe it's weed. I don't know. And then they said the word weed, and Robin's like, oh, okay, they're probably weed, and they start giggling. No, and I, didn't, I, didn't re- I didn't say, oh, yeah, it's probably weed when they said weed it was because they started giggling yeah when they were smoking it but you were the one who planted the idea of weed in my head i'm like no i'm pretty sure it's tobacco yeah because it could have it would have been they would have been like funny and cool be like hey it, they, they found it's weed. tobacco it, it's not called tobacco but it's tobacco it just if you look at it it is a long stringed leaf that has been cut into it's tobacco all right, mm, and Tolkien <laughs> smoked a pipe, and it's tobacco. So there you go. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm um, putting. Okay. I'm just putting. Oh, and another part of when it cuts to the other battle, not at Isengard, but the other one that's happening, <laughs> where they're the hobbits. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard, uh, but like it seems, it seemed like everything was done for, uh, like the king. Uh, Aragorn, Gimli, Aragorn. and Aragorn, Gimli, and uh, Legolas, like, they decided let's fight till the bitter end, basically, get on the horses and kill the, kill as much orcs as we can, and then they look, they, they look up and they see um, Aragorn sees uh, uh, Gandalf the White, and what comes over is reinforcements and it was like, yeah, just hell yeah. They just start attacking and then blinded the, when they get close. Uh, Gandalf the White just blinds the shit out of uh, the, the orcs. orcs. And then and they it's start. just the sun. Oh, it's just yep. the sun? Oh, yep. yeah. Oh. It's just oh. the sun. Gandalf has a natural glow about him, but <laughs> the sun creeps <laughs> over the mountain and uh, and they it blinds them mm. because tactics. And, uh, uh, somebody with- somewhere in chat, probably Green Beret Wolf, is going to be like, "Ah, yes, tactics." <laughs> I play a little oh. bit of Arma Three myself. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's a thing. 
but, but like yeah um, so but there is, and i and i and the reason i corrected you that gandalf didn't blind then the sun did is because there is a scene in the third movie where gandalf literally does use magic to like you know make light to blind people oh, this okay. just isn't it mm. well but and then to continue so then it, it kind of cuts from back and forth so it does that then it cut i think it cuts to the battle at isengard then it it cuts then it cuts to uh to what's going on with frodo and samwise mm-hmm. um and then right after that it cuts back to oh they just beat the orcs and the orcs are running away into the forest and all of a sudden the or- the uh, tr- the forest the trees mm-hmm. fucking just squish all of the uh orcs off screen it was kind of a horrifying scene but really cool at the same time yeah yeah you see them all just running in and just and you hear those were those were my favorite scenes from this Mm -hmm. movie um i wanted to wait till we get we were getting closer to the end of the movie to say the rest of my favorite scenes but Mm -hmm. um anybody else has anything with the the battles or favorite scenes Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, this, the, after the battle of Helm's Deep, uh, they, they, they win. Spoiler alert. In the extended, uh, version, um, the, uh, there's, there's a forest behind, uh, you know, so the Helm's Deep is in, uh, you know, in Rohan, it doesn't have a whole lot of forests, right? Like yeah. it's it's kind of grasslands. And in the extended version, they have the uh, uh, there's this forest that suddenly pops up after the Rohirrim show up. There's a forest behind them, and uh, those are trees that were sent by the Ents. Huh. Um, mm. so the, and I forget the name of them, uh, the, the, but they have a name. They're not exactly trees. They're like partially alive. So think of like, uh, the whomping willow from, uh, Harry Potter. Mm. That's a tree, but it has its own thoughts, you know, like it, yeah. it, it oh, basically yeah. it's those. Okay. But uh they're very angry. Hmm. And the ends usually like keep take care of them. They're like and, they're like herders, is what they yeah, said the, earlier. Yeah, the end yeah, the ends are tree herders. And uh so the ends like take Isengard with some of those and they send a lot of them like to move over to uh Helm's Deep. So the when the Rohirrim all of these horse riders like come down the hill and like crash into the urukai they flee and there's this forest so they flee into the forest they all die yeah yeah that's what we were talking about that one part, like that one scene yeah like like and, and, all of those and, trees just yeah like edgar puts it like it's just like it's like it's a cool scene to see but it's just horrifying to think about yeah <laughs> it's like it's like imagine just you know running into the redwood forest in northern California, and then all of a sudden you know, like they just start moving just to kill you. Yeah. It's like oh my god. Yeah. I misunderstood. I thought y'all were talking about the ants when they were attacking the uh uh Ooh. Isengard and like they just they they like smash some uh some of the orcs there and it's like, you know, like deliberate. They're like, I'm gonna smash you. <laughs> You like, you know, <laughs> it's like, and then they like look at the bottom of their heels and they're like, oh man. And they start scraping it against a piece of stone. With, like <laughs> either, know, that or they get, either that or they get a stick from one of the, uh, um, destroyed, uh, destroyed things that, that the orcs built just to yeah. scrape it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's just that's gonna oh that smell it smells why does it that's oh gonna, god it's gonna take a while to wash off <laughs> oh god thank god the water's here oh it's not it, 
It's like oil. It's not even washing. Oh my god! god. I got I got to let it dry before I can wash the rest of it. Kind of yeah. thing. Oh, I got man. orc juice on my feet. <laughs> oh god. Um, but anyway, so th- that's all good. But at the end of the Battle of Helm's Deep, in the extended version, uh, <laughs> Legolas, Legolas says like, "I killed forty two <laughs> and Gimli goes, ah, 42. Well, that's very nice for a pointy-eared elvish princeling. But I'm sitting pretty at 43. And then Legolas pulls an arrow and shoots the shoots the Urukai <laughs> that is, like, dead uh, underneath Gimli as he's sitting on top of it. And he goes, <laughs> Legolas says, 43. And Gimli goes, that doesn't count. He was dead. He was twitching. He's twitching because he's got my axe embedded <laughs> in his nervous system. And he, he grabs the axe and, and moves it and like his legs quiver. And I was just oh. like, that's hilarious. Because yeah. he's got my axe embedded in his nervous system. Uh, uh, that, but Gimli is great in this movie. I love yeah. it. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, so what's up happening? We cut to Frodo and Samwise. They're they're making their way to Mordor, um, and they're they realize that Frodo is not Frodo. Uh, Spiegel is nowhere behind him. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind, so a little bit before uh, Frodo was trying to convince Smeagol to come and come join the the people that had had since captured them, mm-hmm. and trying to say follow your master come come follow me and um the other people that captured them didn't trust uh frodo and they ended up just capturing smeagol and smeagol took that as a as a sense of being betrayed by frodo so yeah. being that said and then uh this was also around the point where smeagol thought he got rid of gollum but then gollum is slowly coming back and he finally comes back basically um, at the end of the film, when no, not basically at the end of the film, where they're tr- Frodo and Samwise are trying to look for Smeagol, and Smeagol's having a conversation with with uh, Gollum, and mm. eventually saying like, "How how am I supposed to kill them to get the ring?" It's like, "Oh, she will take care of them," and it's like I already knew it was like, "Oh, they're talking about the goddamn spider." I I remember <laughs> <laughs> I, I was telling that to Edgar. The I was spider. Like, that's, that's, that's who they're talking about. I remember. And then it cuts to him showing up behind a tree, like appe- making himself known to Frodo and Sam. was like, come and follow me, Hobbesis, this way. Or something like that. And then. Hobbesis. Adam. Come with me, Hobbesis. <laughs> so then they walk, they start walking to Mordor, and then it cuts to black, directed by Peter Jackson, and that was the end of the film. And. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said walking into Mordor, and because how my mind works, I instantly thought of a, of Fats a Domino. I'm walking to Mordor. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Walking into Mordor. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's just it's all of this is happening. Meanwhile, they got Fats Domino out there on the plains, just <laughs> wailing on piano. He's it's like a melt. He's just in the middle of grassland, just like yeah. out of place, obviously. Just like, <laughs> well, it's like it, it's like if Bla- it's in Blazing Saddles, you had the Count Bassy band just out there yeah. while while the the sheriff is going through the desert, and it's just, you know, <laughs> thanks, you know, like points to him. It's just they're all playing that kind of thing, walking yeah. into Mordor, boom, 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 boom. Uh, but so, is that uh, is that all of it? Is, I think you know. I think we've hit on a lot of the yeah. parts. Yeah, I think so too. So uh, I guess we'll. I guess we could go with our. Uh, we can now go into our overall thoughts and ratings. We'll start with. Uh, we'll start with uh, Mr. Will. What were your? I thought it was me first. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I give it a six out of five. This is just really one of my favorite <laughs> movies. It's really good. Well, what? What, Robin? What? The movie's not no, great that's, in your that's, opinion? That's, that's, no, that's a first. Yeah. yeah that's six out of five that's what I was yeah are we about to fight again no, oh. <laughs> six out of five it's just, fight. It's, it's, fight. 
it's my <laughs> man bathroom. Um, I don't know why I did. <laughs> anyway, it it uh, of the trilogy. This one's my favorite, and I really like the trilogy. Right, so I six out of five. It's just really good. I love this movie because Ents. I mean, like, come on, Ents. Um, I would give Much this. Dimly, yes. I, I would give this a five out of five stars. I really mm-hmm. like this one um, compared to the first one. Um, and the first one is good. Don't get me wrong. Like that one was, was really good. But the second one. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I just I loved it so much. Um, just down with the battles, with the with, the, with how the acting was and, the, and it just the way the, the movie looked and the camera work, everything. It was just great. I loved it yeah. so much. Five five out of five stars. That's mine. <laughs> um, well, because I know I gave the first Hobbit that, but it's of course it's always about rewatching it. Like, and with the and with the second one, it they really stepped it up on like what they on scope, on characters, on this grand adventure even became more grander. Especially we see the fight and. And then Gollum it was introduced, which I think was one of my favorite parts of it, just getting to know Gollum and his interactions with Frodo and everyone. And then Gimli was fucking great. <laughs> uh, and the war was was a fan fucking tastic. And yeah, I think I think I'll I'll, I'll go with with uh, with you guys. I think I'm going to I'm going to give this some a five out of five stairs. It's not my first five out, five out of five I give it to. But, you know, just is a, just imagine that a cup like earlier last year that I would probably would not have given this a five out of five. But yeah. now that I rewatched it again, I'm like, no, it's really good. Yeah, I was a fucking idiot then. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, so, it's such, it's such a good time with this film. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's it, the scope of the adventure it goes in. It's just, God damn. It's like, it's, it's so much fun, especially with the characters. They're, they're really great. Legolas, Gimli, Frodo, Sam, <laughs> Gollum, <laughs> I'm just laughing at what Will is putting in the dank memes portion of our Discord. And if you want to uh, to see what those are, you can join our Discord uh, right here. here. Uh, and uh, we have a lot of people in this community, uh, and it is slowly growing. So we would slowly love growing. to have people out here. Uh, and you can find out uh, ahead of time when we're about to start uh, to start shows you also get to get to know when we put up the YouTube channel put, put up the YouTube episodes as well as the Sp- Spotify episodes so yeah. join our Discord plus sometimes we have movie nights and we yes. haven't had a movie night in a while and that's for a lot of reasons but we want to have another movie night we've been talking yeah. about it and we're going to kind of wait and see uh, probably in the summer. So in the next few weeks, maybe in June, we're going to have a movie night. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is this ain't the end yet. We ain't. OK, done. well, first of all, uh, there's been something raised in the chat just now, and I mm-hmm. need to address it because it's not that we didn't notice. It's that we were also talking so thank you carl for not yes. only the bit just now but the cascade of bits yes previously <laughs> throughout the day there were let us count them all one yes. two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, this is content. 23, uh, 24, 24 thus far. Uh, no, too late, back to your roots. All 80 times plus what? No, wait a minute. I counted 24. You're saying there were 80? There weren't, were there 80? Did I miscount? I will count them again. I will count them again individually. <laughs> You need an individual uh, thank you. Okay, fine. We'll do this. We're going to do it at the end of the show now, though. Yes. Yeah, we're going to move on, and I'm going to do it at the end of the show. Especially because nope, it's too late. You get an individual thank you for every single one. Uh, Edgar, you were saying? 
Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the show ain't done yet, guys. We got one more segment, which is our untitled segment idea. So, without further ado, I'm going to play the intro. So, we're going to go one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> oh my god thank you for the bits that was so much popcorn one, one two three four five six thank you for the popcorn bits mr sir carl of denmark that you just sent when the intro was going on thank you thank you dude holy shit <laughs> <laughs> um we'll start with uh uh, uh um uh, 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 uh um robin edgar Oh. Me. Okay, me yeah. then. Edgar, me. What have you recently watched, seen, read, etc., etc., etc.? Um uh so what uh, I've just been playing uh uh I've been cuz I got this bundle that was on sale on the Sony store, which was the uh the Lego Marvel uh collection pack and I wanted to get it cuz I really wanted to go back and play uh Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the first one. And I beat it and I'm still I'm gonna hundred percent it because I like that's what I like to do with those games, and so uh, I I had a, I'm having a good time with it. It's it's very it's very nostalgic for me, especially since I played it when I was young and I saw it when it was announced and I had a good time when I was a kid and I had a good time now with it. And uh, for movies, I haven't finished the film, but uh, I'm doing this because uh, I'm doing it for a quiz for my uh, one of my classes for Faraday. Uh, with Mr. Faraday, and uh, we're watching The Exorcist. Um, yeah, and uh, and it's we good saw movie, <laughs> really good movie. I, we, it's not scary though. If by today's standards, it, it just, it's just, yeah. it's not scary. It's a good movie, really yeah. good movie, it's not scary. Yeah, anymore. well, it doesn't yeah. rely on jump scares, scares. and cheap tricks. Mm-hmm. Well, even then, like, Hereditary was scary. And that was, like they came out recently. Well, this one it wasn't really all that. Well, scary. let me. Uh, well, uh, well, let me say what I think of it, Robin. No. So, <laughs> you know what, Robin? I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm just gonna. All right, Edgar, talk. <laughs> uh, so no, Robin. <laughs> so when I finished, uh, we haven't finished the film yet, but we're like halfway because we're watching it late. At, we're watching it late at night, and we're like, let's finish it tomorrow. So we're gonna finish it later today. But halfway through it, the story itself is really great, how it goes. It's it's not a film that's, like, super, super horrifying. And I like – and what I think is the more horrific kind of scenes is how the the kid, the poor kid, what she's going through. And I think one of the most, like, poor, horrific scenes that was in was uh, – spoiler alert for, like, an old film. But it's a scene where they're doing tests on her. And there's a scene where they put mm-hmm. a needle in her throat to get some blood out. And sometimes it's spewing a bit. And those scenes are kind of horrifying when it goes into that. Oh, oh excuse me. But but since I haven't, we haven't gotten to like the full part where she's like doing the full, full exorcist. But I think the film has its own kind of type of horror. Because of course, horror is subject, subjective like comedy. But, you know, you know which kind of horrors are bad, which good, because one thing I don't like in horror films is if it relies so much on jump scares. Jump scares yeah. is the cheapest form of horror. And it's kind of the reason I'm not a big fan of lost footage uh, horror films. The only one sometimes I- like the thing with jump scares is that it can work if done correctly. Mm-hmm. But sometimes but if you just like overdo it, it doesn't work. Yeah, because if, um, if that's your crutch to make someone scared, then you're not doing a good job at scaring because a, a person. A good example for the the way that jump scare that uh, something that that works with jump scares, and yeah, okay, well, it's gonna this is gonna be kind of memey a little bit, and that's is the original Five Nights at Freddy's because yes, it has jump scares. But it's about the tension that builds up mm-hmm. to them. 
That's mm. what makes it scary. And then mm. overall, you get the the jump scare is kind of a satisfying scare mm-hmm. because you got that buildup because you're like, oh god, I don't know where they're going to come from. Are they come? Are they this way? Are they coming from the left or the right? I oh god, here. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Then and, like and- it. Yeah. Yeah, but for like for when for me when it comes to like horror films, because I remember when I was when I was like in middle school, I had like a horror film kind of phase where I would just like rent horror films, and it was kind of the thing that ruined a lot of like uh, horror uh, like lost footage horror films. That I'm like, yeah, a lot of this really sucks. It's like I want something that like will like make me scared, not just for like a small second, like make me horrified. And I'm really and some of the films that I really like that are like new kind of horror is, you know, like Hereditary. That's that's a really good example for one of those. The Lighthouse is like a psychological horror, but it's not fully horror. But those are some of those are like good examples. Like the ones that I I know there's a lot of big popularity for it, but I personally don't like them is the Insidious series. I don't like those at all, especially when I was younger. But when it whenever I hear people like watch oh you should watch this horror film then I want to start watching it and if the only thing they use to scare you is jump scares then I it I it takes me out I I, I can't get into that but it's it, it's like a horror film should have as as all films should have is good characters a good story mm-hmm. and with horror is you build up the horror you shouldn't just always show the horror. Boom, right then and there when it comes to a film. I know I couldn't snap right, but boom, right then and there. Yeah. And like always- and like I said, uh with when it comes to jump scares, like people always use them wrong because they always they they think like, oh, that's the cheap scares. You do it over and over mm-hmm. and over again, type thing. Yeah. And like they they always forget about the buildup, the tension that leads to that. Mm-hmm. Um because know, then that's what makes it scary. Yeah. Is the and tension. I know when the Exorcist came. I know when the Exorcist came out, and like over the years, people just laughed at it because they were always told that it's the most scariest film of all time. Which it's not. Don't go into this film thinking Here, oh, like, you're gonna go. I would agree if it was at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, it at when it time. came out in in 1970, 75. Um, I know that's broad, but like um. I can understand for at the time uh, Mm because the omen came out close to around the same time as the exorcist. There was like a large influx at the time of movies of religious horror movies. Yeah. uh, Because there was just a big influx of people who were believing in Christianity at the time too. Mm -hmm. So it was just a big thing. Yeah. And, 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 and seeing this film now, it's still so far what I'm seeing is a really great film, especially with how they set up everything, how it's slowly it's building up to what we're eventually going to see. And I and those films, I appreciate a lot. I really love when a film really is building up what's going on. There's hints of it and there's things that it, it changes the characters. It changes what the story is going with it. And that's what I see with a good horror film. It doesn't and, have to always be scary, but the premise itself is a bit kind of horrific. Especially will, since where I'm at is where the mom is already at that point. She doesn't know what's wrong with the child. She's just like scared. She's afraid. She doesn't know. She, and she's someone who doesn't believe in religion. So she's trying to find a logical scientific reason for why her daughter is acting like this and seeing her like, transform of just like just being like oh like she something's wrong but now she's just worried for her daughter she doesn't know where to go to i think her daughter's acting this way because she's on that damn phone too much she's been (laughs) watching them youtubes and she's changed we need to have prayer in school i know that they're making Um, speak with the exorcist they, they are making a um it's not a remake, it's a sequel, but it's redconning, I think, the second one. Mm, um, but the third one is still a part of it, kind of. Yeah, because I've also but, heard, the th- cause I've heard the third one's actually really good, too. Oh, yeah, no, the third one's good, uh, but mm-hmm. the second one is just atrocious. Because yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I think, I, when I, because I remember hearing, like, they were trying, they, there was rumors of them wanting to remake the first one, which I'm like, oh, God, no. Because I, no, and, I think what they ended up doing is I, I, sh- I remember I shared 
a uh, the the poster. I think it was a fan poster. Or it was a real poster of what mm-hmm. of the Exorcist um, of the newer one. And reading on it, they said it's a sequel. It's a sequel to the first one, mm-hmm. like a so, direct sequel. Yeah, Rick Honey, the um, second one. <laughs> I yeah. am Pazuzu. I think it's it's Red Conning the second one, and it technically it could be Red Conning the third one, but I don't know. I need to read more on it. No. Uh, but in in, in 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 simple terms, I'm enjoying The Exorcist. Uh, I would recommend you go watch it. Don't go in thinking it's the most scary horror film of all time, but don't expect any jump scares that are showing up. And moral of the story: watch, just watch whatever horror films you want to watch. See what it is, but know that to me. Jump scares are the cheapest form of horror, and it, it, it's, it's it don't use it as a crutch. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, Will, Mister Will, what have you recently been watched, seen, read, played, etc., etc., etc. Well, um. I watched uh, Legally Blonde on Netflix the other day. That was fun. I like that movie a lot. Uh, and uh, if, if if y'all haven't seen it, it's one of the best. Uh, also, Dylan in the chat says it is the greatest horror f- movie of all time, which, you know, highly debatable, right? Because mm-hmm. opinions. Uh mm-hmm. I haven't, seen it yet. I haven't finished seeing it, so I can't come see. Like for for me, I think I feel the greatest horror movie of all ta- time is is John Carpenter's The Thing. Like it, it's all opinion based, but yeah, a good movie though. It's a good movie, really good movie. Huh? Anyway, Will, uh, you were saying? Yeah, be- before you interrupted me, uh, oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 oh, we have a time. Uh no, the thing is the best horror movie. I'm referring to Legally Blonde. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. First of all, good joke. Uh, secondly, it is a light-hearted comedy, so check yourself. Oh my um, God, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I will literally come for you for uh, for inferencing that Legally Blonde is horror. It is not. It is a lighthearted comedy. Okay. <laughs> so check yourself at the door. Okay. Oh okay. Um, oh my, anyway. Oh no. uh, you, just, you just lost oh. the battle for the ending there. <laughs> I just lost the what? You just lost the battle for the ending, how you ended it. <laughs> Lost the battle for the ending. What? The, 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 when you said when you went, oh crap, that part. Never mind. <laughs> oh, crap. uh. Anyway, uh, a woman in the legal system. Oh, uh, y- oh. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna move right the hell on now. Okay. Oh gosh. Um, I've also been reading some books, uh, been reading some history books and some theory books and, uh, enjoying those. I, I won't drop the names. Who cares? But, uh, yeah, um, I've been playing some Minecraft. That's been st- scary stuff. Will. Um, okay. Um, oh my God. <laughs> I, I want to make jokes, but I won't because this is the podcast and not the live stream of the game stuff. We're a little more loosey goosey on the game stuff. Um, okay. Oh, uh, anyway, <laughs> Robin, save me. Save uh, me. Okay. Robin, what uh, have you recently played, watched, seen, read, etc., 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 etc.? Well, I have been heavily playing Banjo Tooie. Um, Banjo Tooie is a game that came out uh, originally on the Nintendo 64 in 2000. Um, mm. And I originally played it on my brother's 64. And eventually, when I ended up keeping his 64, I had to. He had lost it, so I had to buy. I had to go on Amazon to buy it. And long story short, I ended up getting buying a friend's Xbox One, and now I have it on my Xbox. So I just play it on that. And um, I've been playing a lot of it. I want to get through it all, and then eventually downgrade and play the the original Banjo Kazooie. And what I mean by downgrade is that you go from getting used to using all the upgraded uh, abilities you, you're used to in Tui. 
than to go back to the basic stuff that you originally already have learned and have to de-learn in the first uh, first game. Um, and I've been I played a little bit because of the first game for a bit while I was playing Tui, but then I decided let me just finish Tui and then I'll get back into it. And then eventually, because I have rare replay, I am going to play. Oh my god. Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Oh God, may you rest. May it you. is <laughs> it is on the rare replay for some reason. So I just threw up a little bit in my mouth because I just said that out loud, but I will I will I will play Banjo <laughs> Nuts. <Do> nuts. Yes. <laughs> and that I I will I will play it because you know because that's what you want in a sequel to Banjo Tooie is is going from do about to do a platformer game to then to then the creators basically laughing at you for saying oh yeah you really want to play another platform game for a Banjo Kazooie game nobody likes that people like shooting stuff and racing cars and then they turn it into a building cars video game because that's what I want in a Banjo Kazooie game yeah, I hope that whatever is going to be happening with the rumors between Microsoft and Nintendo, I really hope that they're true of them bringing Game Pass to um, to the Switch, and hopefully that our theory, me and Edgar's theory, that they'll yeah. announce a true Banjo Three E on the Nintendo Switch, yeah. and it's an actual platformer because oh, of them. Having, because that would of be, them, that would be such a great E three though. I, I think. The reason why I, I feel like the theory could be true is because they brought Banjo Kazooie to Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. And I mean, they brought my, they have technically two Microsoft reps are in Smash. It's Minecraft, yeah. Steve, and Banjo. So there is a really good relationship between Nintendo and Microsoft. So yeah. that's why I'm like there is hope for a lot of like good stuff with them. Yeah, but well, that's course. my take. That's my thing. Yeah. So, but. Yeah, guys. Um, of course, as I did say, this is our uh, our last. Uh, well, we, our we last also got to do. We got to do one more thing, because we because Will said we would we're, we were going to do it. And that is, thank every bit. That <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Sir Carl did. So. Yep. Uh, go. So uh, so I've got this, gentlemen. Oh, you got uh, this. I've I've got this. Uh, okay. Thank you for the donation, Carl. Carl, thank you for the donation. A bitty, Carl. Thank you so much, Carl. You didn't have to, Carl. Carl, you didn't have to. Thank you so much, Carl. Oh my God, Carl. 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 Thank you, Carl. Look at all the popcorn, oh, Carl. No. Carl. Oh my gosh, Carl. Carl. Look at all the good. Carl. Carl. <laughs> Carl. Look at all the popcorn. Oh my God. Thank you, Carl. Carl. Thank you so much, Carl. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Carl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Thank you so much. Thank you. Smash that bell. Thank you, Carl, so much. I really appreciate it. We all here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carl. Carl. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Carl. All righty. Um, <laughs> now, but, if Carl wants to go back through and count how many times I said thank you in the VOD, he's welcome to. Now, uh, whoa. Oh, whoa. shit. Whoa. whoa. Cloud Nine. Nice. Cloud oh, Nine gifted a tier one sub to, to uh, Soppy Carnivore. To my boy Rico. Hey, Rico, you got a sub, bro. Nice. Hey, Rico. Nice. Rico, you you got emotes thanks to thanks to Cloud because they gave you the thing. You should you should say thank you, Cloud. Yeah. Now, yeah. To, uh, Sir Carl then said thank you for a wonderful season of burps and also reviews. Now this is the last live episode for the season. Yes. Yes. But it is not the last episode of the season. We still yeah. have a mini episode that we're going to record on Monday, and then we have the la- the, the truly last episode of the season where we're recording about the the uh the return of the king the final lord of the our, rings the last lord to, of the rings film in our marathon to end our series of the lord of the rings mm-hmm. now um go live or go to mexico <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> well, we're going to Mexico. That's right. The Grand Slam goes to Mexico. You Grand boys Slam like Mexico? Mexico. <laughs> um, now, but, like, we, but to 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 say yes. Um, so yes, we we will have we have one more last episode that will be recorded, and we'll have him uploaded on the Spotify and YouTube's. We do have, of course, that's going to be the last of the season. But we should be we'll be coming back after the summer, and um. As, and for oh, the, the Grand and, Tour. Yes, I uh, I am 100% behind that, Green Beret. <laughs> <laughs> grand World Tour. Tonight, the Grand Tour. Robin punches, punches an old woman in the face. And you go to prison again. Go to prison and Will again. gets drunk and passes out in the hotel I, lobby. I'm Jeremy Clarkson because... Uh, I I want a hammer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Jeremy Clarkson out of the three is probably the most quote. I I guess the hateful out of the three, and I'm <laughs> hateful technically. So, <laughs> uh. and also Edgar is short, so he is Richard Hammond. Uh, <laughs> Damn, but Edgar, so. you are now ham- you are now hamster. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Only people who have watched the Grand Tour or o- OG reboot of Top Gear know about Richard Hammond's nickname. Uh, anyway, uh, but that, yes, that's our show. <laughs> yes, as I was going to continue before. Yes, yes. But um, so yes, um, our recorded episode next week will be our last Grand Slam episode of the season. We'll be back after the summer, but of course during the summer we're not going to be we're not going to disappear. We're not gone. We're um. It's just we're it, it, think of it as a season finale next week, and then we come back in the uh, after the summer in the fall, and while we're in the during the summer, we'll have um uh, how do you say we have many we're gonna have many episodes of course we have one that we're gonna record next week, um so stay tuned for that we'll have more mini episodes during the summer because of course movies and video games always come out during the summer and it's always big so we're not gonna end there and of course and of course. We haven't forgotten about our gaming stuff. There's a lot. I'll be have. I'll have now. I'll actually have a lot of time to rec- uh, to edit and release a lot of like the video game stuff that I have. So a, a I would, lot of lost episodes are about to get released. Yeah. So stay tuned <laughs> for the summer. The summer is more of our video game stuff, and um, we have other now plans of like to- uh, g- of streaming video games during the summer. So stay tuned for that. You'll see more information once we get to that stuff. But, to quickly end. Uh, really quick to what Will said put in the chat tonight on the grand tour Edgar cries himself to sleep Robin drinks a gallon of LSD and runs naked through the street in a glorious final act and Will silently watches the hotel burn <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and um, Will gets a BMW Lissetta. Uh Isetta I, I think that's how you pronounce it I need it. Oh, what does that look like? Now I'm curious. <laughs> okay. Um, BMW. I said, uh, let me just do that. And oh, no. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you get to open the door for, for in the front. At Will, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> well, you know <laughs> what? You know what? If you if you put the seat back a few feet, sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's one of a picture of a taxi, a BMW taxi of the Assetta. <laughs> anyway, that's that's our show. <laughs> And of course, I, I got to do this always. So uh, uh, if you haven't joined our Discord and you want to be part of the community, our growing community, you should uh, go uh, to the link over here for our Discord. We also, you can follow us on our socials and the uh, about page over there and stuff. <laughs> and um, so you can go to follow us on our, our Twitter, our Facebook page and all the goody stuff. You can follow us on there too. Our, so our personal socials. Um you could uh, f- subscribe to us on the YouTube because that's where you'll see a lot of our gaming stuff and ev- and all the more stuff. And s- as well, Spotify. We got Spotify, guys, so you could go and join us on the Spotify there. So, um, of course, with all that, um, Robin and Will, any last thing you guys want to 
Uh, <laughs> any any uh, any last words you guys want to say before we say uh, goodbye to the show? Um, uh, let's hope to play some more games to then upload them onto YouTube. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what and, I got. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to do some more Minecraft. The drunk stream, uh, we're probably not going to do the drunk stream live. We're going to edit it, but maybe that'll happen in the summer. Uh, maybe we'll have a community movie night. Uh, a lot of things can happen. Hey, Edgar. Yes. Quaid. And with those Quaid, Quaid, ladies and gentlemen, that's our cue to leave. Thank you all for a wonderful year of this season of the Grand Slam. We love you all, and bye-bye. Bye. It's the end. It wasn't me. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Goodbye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. I don't even know what to do with this eagle. I just found it. Hi. Bye. 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 Bye.